Hello everyone! So today I will try out some cheaper art supplies that I got from a place on the interweb called Banggood. You may have heard of it, it is a little like wish kind of. They have so so much stuff to a super low cheap price and not only art supplies but like everything. So Banggood let me pick some stuff to try out today so let's just do that. And I'm not sponsored or anything but links to all the stuff that I got here today is in the description box below if you want to check it out yourself. So let's dive straight into it with the first bag. We have this set with eight drawing pens and they're just called drawing pens. And the reason I picked these is because they look a little familiar, don't they? These are very close to the Pigma Micron Fineliner, so I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of comparison. And then we have this roll of foam wrapping, which contains three pens that are called Genvana, perhaps. It is ink brush pens in different sizes, and these are also very similar to some other brush pens that I already have. And these three together cost as much as one of the other pens that I already have alone. Then next we have a tiny sketchbook and I am a little disappointed in this since the one I picked had cat paws on it and this obviously doesn't. So it seems like you can't pick the design yourself perhaps but it seems like it has nice natural paper in it which I like. And next we have a little bigger bag with some stuff that I've been looking forward to. Look how freaking cute this is! It is a very suspicious looking cat pencil case with three legs only for some reason. Maybe the zipper is supposed to be the fourth leg, I don't know, it is kind of weird but it is still interesting. And it's made of this really soft foamy material and the quality is actually quite nice. Then we have a green turquoise little cat gel pen, just because, you know, cats. And then next is another thing that I'm quite curious about, and look how shiny and pretty the box is. Inside we have a glass pen. It is like an ink dip pen, but with a glass nib. I wanted to try one of these for a while now, and I'm curious to see how well it works. Then the last thing is a set of watercolor brush pens and I didn't know that I would receive the Artessa brush pens at the time I decided to get these ones but it will be interesting to compare these two and even if Artessa is cheap these ones are even cheaper and it also comes with a water paintbrush to use with these pens and it feels a little plasticky but I'm sure it will get the job done anyway. And this is the only one of all the packages that came dented, luckily. I'm really glad that the glass pen made it in one piece. Since the pages in the sketchbook is quite thin, I won't use them for the watercolor pens, but I used it to try out the other pens in. The cat gel pen was quite nice and worked well as any other pen. And I also loved the brush pens, they were so smooth to draw with. However, they are not waterproof, I noticed, so I have to save them to last if I want to use them with the watercolor pens. I also compared a Micron 05 pen with a Drawing 0.5 pen, and I know they are not the same sizes since the 05 Micron pen is actually 0.45mm and the Drawing pen is 0.5mm. But the Drawing pen is so juicy and it is weird since it seems like the other pens in the set aren't as juicy. The 0.5mm pen looks even bolder than the 0.8 pen, but other than that they do feel like normal fineliner pens. The only the only downside is that it says that they are waterproof, but it seems like they do a little bit of smudging when adding water to them. So since the Artessa watercolor brush pens came out a little less pigmented than I wanted, I tried a different method with these pens and added water to them directly after adding the color to the paper, instead of waiting to add all the colors first and then add the water. In case the ink drying has something to do with the colors not coming out very vibrant, and I was positively surprised that this actually looks very pigmented and dissolved without any weird discoloration. And I 
did a little side-to-side -side comparison with Artessa pens and even when adding water to them directly after laying down the color, these nameless watercolor pens does look more pigmented. And it also doesn't seem to make much difference if I add water to them when the ink is still wet or when it has dried a little. You could also get some really cool effects when adding them to wet paper. So yeah, I'm quite impressed so far. Then the last thing to try out is the glass dip pen. I used calligraphy ink since it seems to work better with these kinds of pens than India ink. The calligraphy ink is probably less thick and flows better. I was so surprised on how smooth it was to draw with and how well it worked. It is a bit harder to get variation in the line thickness, but it is still quite easy to work with. So I will make a few smaller illustrations in my Moleskin watercolor sketchbook to see how well these supplies work. And for the first one I will try out the glass pen and also do some quick coloring to try out the watercolor pens. And I'm using purple ink since I don't have any black calligraphy ink but I think it will work anyway. So the pen works really well even on this rougher watercolor paper and it makes even smooth lines. You do have to re-dip it ever so often though and make some quick scribbling to get rid of any excess ink to avoid ink blobs. So there are some extra work to do to use this pen but it is kind of fun anyway. My biggest problem with this pen is that it gets a bit slippery and slides around in my hand because I do like to keep a firm grip when I do line art and my hand easily gets kind of warm. So maybe a glass pen is not the best choice for me personally. And I'm also not loving the line weight or the lack of line weight. If you want to get some sort of variation, you have to go over the lines more than once. But I do believe just for writing, this pen is quite nice. So what I'm trying with these watercolor pens that I didn't do with the Artessa ones is first wetting the paper and then adding the colors like wet on wet technique if these were real watercolors. And I think it works really, really well. I like the effect of it. I'm not a huge fan of the color choice in this piece perhaps, but that is on me. Uh, it is just for testing the pens out and it's not supposed to be a masterpiece. I think it turned out cute though and I might try to make this into a real more detailed piece someday because I like the characters and the scene. The dark blue purple color I used for the sky did look a little discolored and I'm not really loving that. It has to look like I've accidentally spilled water over a newspaper and the ink is dissolving. It just doesn't look good to me. But fortunately this is the only color so far that I know this has done that. So for the next piece I'm gonna try out the watercolor brush pens more properly and also the fine liners and the ink pens. I'm saving the outlines for last since as I mentioned the ink pens doesn't seem to be waterproof. So I did the same thing here, adding the water first and then the colors. It makes the colors more soft because on their own the pens are very pigmented and vibrant and I'm going for a softer look. It takes a bit of practicing getting used to working with these kinds of pens but I think I got a hang of it after a little bit of practicing and drawing. When I just wanted a very soft light shading I took the water brush and I picked the colors right from the tip of the brush pen and I also scribbled a little on a piece of plastic and I added some water to that and picked the ink up from the plastic. And I think my biggest issues with these pens so far is that the colors are very, very hard to pick up again from the paper. They are really hard to reactivate again. So it is more like painting with ink than with watercolors since they become semi-permanent when they dry. 
the colors mixes really well though and they layer nicely. What I also like is that if you want to make tiny details or get a very vibrant color in one spot, you can just draw with a pen directly on the paper because the pen nib itself is very pointy and nice to draw with and it gives you really nice crisp line work. So overall I am very pleased with these cheap supplies and I think that all this stuff was about $45 in total where the watercolor brush pens costed about $20 which I think is a very decent price for pens in this quality and it also says that the watercolor brush pens are refillable so that is great. I have no idea where you can find the refills but at least you have the options if you want to. My least favorite thing has to be the sketchbook since I didn't get the design that I wanted but I can always repaint the cover myself if I want to. For the line work I used the finest of the brush pens and the 0.2 fine liner drawing pen. I like to first lay down a thinner line work with a fine liner and then add in more line weight with a brush pen and I think it worked really well here too with these supplies. I do like the ink pens and the fine liners, they are just as good as any of the pens that I normally use besides that they are not waterproof which is a huge downer for me personally. For the background I only used the 0.2 fine liner to separate it more from the mermaid and the foreground. So to answer the question, cheap art supplies, do they work? Yes, in this case they do definitely work and they actually don't feel very cheap to work with. Some of them may look a little cheaper but they don't feel cheap to draw with. I honestly like most of them, especially the cat pencil case and the watercolor pens and the free ink brush pens. The glass pen was also super fun and nice to try out but I don't think it will fit into my way of drawing but perhaps I will use it for writing and such. So I think that is all I had to say about the supplies and the artwork. Thanks Banggood for sending me this to try out and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click on that little bell icon to get notified whenever I post new art and new videos and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!